Hey guys, welcome back into Dom Details Daily. I'm coming from I'm coming to you from Pew Training. We're getting ready to drop an episode of Way Off for you coming out tomorrow. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for that. Today, I want to get into um, something just a little bit more uh, touchy, a little bit more sensitive um, than anything we've done in honor of it being about a week after the NFL draft. I just kind of want to look over some hits and misses. And the one thing that stood out to me the most was just knowing that the NFL took a few guys who have have recent histories of just various kinds of abuse towards women and just in general. There's not really much that you can say or do to kind of alleviate these problems on either end. So I'm just going to try and look from all these different perspectives and then try and come up with a solution. So as of recent, the Oakland Raiders decided to go ahead and pick up Conley um, out of Ohio State, who had a recent accusation of rape from a young lady just a few days before the draft. From an NFL perspective, they said that they're not going to pursue this discipline for him just because he was not a part of the organization at the time of this occurrence. Just being a woman and not seeing things taken care of and just with the NFL's history of domestic abuse and their various forms and methods of taking care of the situation, I was a little bit frustrated and a little bit let down. If I'm looking at it from the other's point of view, saying that his past will be taken into account if another issue were to occur is all you can do at this point. They aren't your employer. So, of course, you cannot discipline them. We don't know the facts behind it. You can't put that on someone's track record. So I understand that. And they're still looking into the details. It's pretty hypocritical for me to say that it's okay for Joe Mixon to be taken into an organization and into a league and say that Connolly isn't. And I think the thought in my head when I was thinking that was that it was just the dates in between. You know, Mixon had some time to kind of think about his actions. Where where is this guy? I don't know how much time that takes to process. My thing about the NFL is this is also more of a Raiders organization issue just because they chose to um, bring this guy in. They can put the pieces around him to help him succeed and to help him really understand his issue. Um, But the NFL, I've noticed that they're very big on programs and initiatives, which is great to an extent. Honestly, I just feel like somebody forcing you to sit in a room for two to three hours, even if you have no remorse or whatever the case is, isn't going to be as effective as letting that guy really see the impact of his wrongs and, you know, putting mentorship around the guy to help him. We're never going to be happy with the NFL's punishment because one's either going to be not enough for us or it's going to be, in some people's eyes, too harsh. And and I can understand why it would be too harsh in this situation to not let a team draft him. From his perspective, that is truly impacting the way of living, which in the other's defense is you already ruined someone else's life and that's hard to take back i think that the only way that the nfl can really fix this first starts out with a person who's willing to go through with it and even if they're not really having them see the impact and the testimony from women who've been through this the sad part about all this is that individual tends to only care about what they did um, when they really see the effects of how it impacted that person in their own lives or if we take away something so valuable to them and that still doesn't even necessarily make them care there's just going to always be a lot of frustration until somebody takes a hard stand and sticks with it. Um, In other news, um, just kind of keeping on in this little level, Greg Hardy wants to try and make his rebound into the NFL once again, and he's trying to convince people that he is not a psychopath. This is Dom Details Daily. Way off, way out.